Good day class! For today's course, I will discuss the lesson 2, which is the intellectual revolution that defines society. Before we proceed our discussion, we have here our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, students are be able to identify the contribution of Nicholas Copernicus and Charles Darwin that transforms the view of science and technology. Discuss the Copernicus concept and the benefit it provides towards the society. And reflect the natural evolution theories of Charles Darwin and how it affects our society. Now let's define what is intellectual revolution. Intellectual revolution is used to refer to Greek speculation about the nature. It is in a period before Socrates. It is also termed as pre-Socratic or non-theological or first philosophy, a period where paradigm shift is occurred. It is the scientific beliefs that have been widely embraced and accepted by people where challenged and approved. Now these are the ideas of the known intellectuals. First, we tackle the Copernican Revolution by Nicholas Copernicus. Nicholas Copernicus is an all-around Renaissance man. He is an astronomer, mathematician, doctor, and clergyman. In the 16th century, he adopted the heliocentric model, suggesting the idea that the sun is the center of our solar system. It is called helio means sun and centric meaning the center. This heliocentric model is contrary to Ptolemy's idea of geocentric model. You will see here in the photo the difference of heliocentric and geocentric model. This heliocentric model answers the issue that cannot be explained using the geocentric model. Other works that supported this model started to emerge as well. The heliocentric model is eventually accepted by the people in a period which has called the birth of modern astronomy. This era is what was known as the scientific revolution in which it resulted in the transformation of the society's thoughts and beliefs. In the photo, you will see the heliocentric model. Its center is the sun. And while the geocentric model, its center was the Earth. And that geocentric model was explained by Ptolemy. Now these are the benefits that derived from Copernicus concept. First is that financial benefits, opportunities for sustainable growth and job creation in the Europe. Europe's Copernicus program uses accurate and timely data from satellites and other sources in which it provides key formation services like to improve the way the environment has managed also to help mitigate the effects of climate change it is also to enable the creation of new applications and services for the citizens and businesses and also to safeguard the everyday lives Third is that the program is expected to generate new employment and business opportunities throughout the Europe. Next is that Copernicus concept has importance in European research and development. By just accessing them for free under the open data policy and use them to develop new products and services for profit. And last is that Copernicus concept ensures long-term data availability for business development. This is done by investing in space and doing it generates employment and further innovation. Second intellectual revolution is the Darwinian Revolution by Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin is an English naturalist. He is a biologist, geologist, and he is famous for his theory of evolution. Charles Darwin published his book, The Origin of Species, in 1859. The book presented evidence on how the species are evolved over time and presented traits and adaptation that differentiate species. Also in his book, The Descent of Man, in 1871, Charles Darwin introduced the idea of all organic life including human beings, under the realm of evolutionary thinking. Such evolution of species radically forms new life. 
which developed of the existing species. Through this period of evolution, organisms compete with one another over space, food, and other things for survival. They may be also avoid of being eaten, resist disease, or become parasites in order to exist. The species which are not fit for survival or not better adapted the environment may die or be eliminated. This process of natural evolution is called the natural selection. Or these natural selections are sometimes referred as the struggle for existence and the elimination of unfit organisms, in which connects with the natural process of survival. So in this photo, the example would be the bird and the mice. A population of mice has moved into a new area where the rocks or their surroundings are very dark and due to the genetic variation, some mice are color black and some are color tan. And so, some mice are eaten by the predator such as the bird in which tan mice are visible to them. Thus, tan mice are eaten in higher frequency than the black mice. And so, only the surviving mice can reach to the reproductive age or further offspring. And when the mice reproduce for the next generation, the black mice has a higher chance of giving more offspring than the tan mice. And so the higher fraction of black mice is seen for the next generation. Another example is the beetles and the bird. Like here, green beetles have been selected by the bird than the brown beetles and so in their next generation the brown beetles are being flourished and that what means with a natural selection by charles darwin darwin's ideas on evolution touched a good aspect of the modern society such as in biological science it sheds light on fossils and vice versa Biologists have learned of what is that makes a species thrive and how ecosystems and species become extinct because of natural selection. Also in psychology, the evolution here makes sense. We humans do what we do and think how we think because of that innate drive to survive. And the last is that in application, to cutting-edge technology, the so-called ecological niche modeling determines the likelihood of an organism surviving in a particular ecosystem. Invasive species like dandelions, rats, phyton, zebra, and other, it affects the ecosystem. The species that survived the invasion events were those that could live in diverse environments and were less ecologically specialized. 